YouTube show. So let's talk about for beginners, what would be your top five recommended uh, beginner plants to, you know, for someone like me who wants to kind of experiment with their first baby's first fish tank? The absolute best cast iron plant is Anubius. And there's a yeah. bunch of different varieties. They're all under the same species, which is Barteri. Um, but they come from fairly large plants to um, Nana Petite, which is a teeny tiny little plant, and um, a, a several different leaf shapes. Um, and they're all, we, we used to jokingly call it the plastic plant that grows because it, it just, it will keep one leaf for well over a year. So mm -hmm. it, it's most annoying aspect is that the leaves stay on it for so long that you can have, if you have algae problems in the tank, that the algae will get on the leaves because the leaves last so long. Okay. So um, that's probably the number one beginner plant. Uh, Java fern is another excellent one. There's a, a plant that's relatively new on the, um, and when I say new on the market, I, within the last five years or so, it's called Bucephalandra. It's another small aroid. It's from uh, Borneo. Um, and the thing with this is that it's available a couple of different ways. Some of them are tissue cultured and those are great. They, people should absolutely buy those and not feel bad about it at all. Uh, and you can actually buy those and they're fine to buy at the uh, big box stores. You can buy tissue cultured ones hanging up in Petco <laughs> by the bettas. Mm -hmm. Uh, the problem is that Bucephalandra are still being taken out of the wild and sold in huge quantities directly from Borneo and through any number of different sources here in the United States, um, mail order and, and in pet stores. If, if you're buying Bucephalandra that's loose, that's not in a little tissue culture cup, you can be, you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that it that it was a wild collected plant and just don't do it because just like sustainability Sarah, is very important the, in this conversation yeah. so thank you for sharing that yeah uh so th that's one that i have to qualify if if you're going to get tissue cultured ones by all means it's a wonderful beginner plant it's it's very variable in terms of leaf color and shape they're hardy as nails um great little plants but just get the tissue cultured ones. Uh, water Sprite is, a, it, you, you want to be able to balance some faster growing plants with slower growing plants. And uh, those three that we've talked about so far are slow growing plants. Um, and they're very, very hardy, but they do grow slowly. The next two are fast growing plants. And okay. so they'll, they'll help you keep your water quality better and they'll keep on top of algae for you. Uh, water Sprite, which is a fern, but it grows very, very quickly. Uh, the scientific name is Ceratopterus thalactroides. Um, and that's a nice fast growing plant. It can either grow uh, um, with its roots in the substrate or it can grow floating. Um, and cool. a lovely plant. Um, and then Hygrophila is the genus. There's a number of different species and all, um, well, there are some that are difficult that you wouldn't want to use, but the giant hygro and hygrophila deformis, which is um, water wisteria, those are really, really easy ones. Um, and they grow fast. They're great beginner plants. So those would be my five. Boom and grow.